Hello again, and this is uh, my week 38 to recap. Um, really didn't have any deep conversations this week uh, with uh, Solomon or, or anything else. I just had one big uh, realization. Uh, again, things that have been helping me uh, to be a more positive-minded person. That seems to be the theme of this whole experiment has just been what I've been getting has been things that have like stirred me into being poor, more positive-minded. And uh, one of the things that was really interesting about this is that it's trying to incorporate an everything about yourself. I mean, it's... I'll just read the realization and then, then try to explain it afterward. It says, um, I realize that a positive person is one that utilizes negative thoughts to his advantage. And that means that um, what you do is, and, and I'll use the example of my uh, sister-in-law where she was having a little bit of claustrophobia and she was asking me uh, questions about it um, again because I deal in MRI and and uh, have a lot of experience in that and uh, I was explaining to her that if you are claustrophobic or have any other type of fear um, you're reacting because you're placing a hundred percent belief in something to be true, you know, which is, you know, um, if I'm stuck in this container, I'm, I'm going to die, you know, I mean, that's, that's the, what you're putting a lot of faith in, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get out of here, and if I can't get out, then I'm going to die, and so that's, uh, you know, and if you think about it, it's, it seems illogical, and it, usually those type of beliefs have a little room of doubt in them, and so that there's a way out, but they usually are so ingrained, it's, it's kind of, um, you know, I know logically it's, it, you know, it might not be true, but boy, I better get out of here or otherwise I'm going to die, you know, so it's, it's kind of like a, like a self-repeating uh, uh, belief system. And what usually gets people is that thought, uh, the thought that creeps up, even though you kind of have that doubt, when the thought comes back up, the negative belief, but, oh, I better, you know, what if I can't get out? You know, that thought, the negative thought that comes in, generally you react to that. And you're reacting to, it, reacting to the negative thought in the same way. Whereas if you change how you react to the negative thought, you will automatically change. Um, you don't have to respond uh, just because you hear the thought or think that you haven't made improvement because you hear the negative thought. Those thoughts may always occur because you've, and what you can do is utilize it in a positive way and say, so when the thought comes that, oh, what if I can't get out of here? You start realizing, ah, I see I'm, I'm reacting differently to this thought. So I know that I must be making some changes. I must be changing how I am right now. Thank you, negative thought, for showing me how different I am at this time. So, and what you, so what you're doing is you're welcoming those negative thoughts uh, in and utilizing them positively. And so again, as anything, if you put positive energy into it, you get something positive out of it. So even a, a negative belief. So then you kind of incorporate everything about it. So it's not that you're necessarily getting rid of the negative belief. You're actually just incorporating it into yourself and realizing that yes, it is an option but you choose this belief. And those negative beliefs are all they're there to do is to show you where you used to be and where you are right now. Because how else are you going to know where you are unless you have some reference, some point to be able to tell you, tell you this is where you used to be and this is where you are right now. And, and you also know that every time that that comes up, 
that it's a choice that you could react that way. You could go back to that negative belief. You could go back into being fearful again. But you also know that why should you if you already chose something that's much better? It's a very obvious choice. So this doesn't make any sense once you've kind of made that breakthrough. So it's something that I, I, uh, I, I, um, once that was kind of brought to me, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm really finding that I'm taking advantage of that in many different parts of my life, in many different subjects. You know, I'm just usually utilizing that negative belief. And I used to think that if that negative belief came up, that I wasn't making the change, that I needed to be more... It's, it's almost like I was just forcing myself to look at one side of, of the coin instead of uh, realizing there's another side to it and accepting that there's another side to it, but just choosing that one side. So this is kind of a way of just accepting it. You're accepting the negative belief and saying, yes, I understand that that was a thought that I could have. I could have that thought. Um, but, you know, again, it's a way of just incorporating that into yourself and becoming more whole. Um, and again, that, you know, that was really the, the only uh, realization I had this week. Um, and um, so, I, I, again, I'll just talk with everyone next week. So thank you. Thank you all for watching and uh, take care.